All right, and that was HacksRadio.com, the shit that'll make your ears bleed, and the place that allows the Federal Bureau of Investigation to fulfill their sexual fantasies in the privacy of their own hands. Good Lord, it's Wednesday. It's time for the Hacker News. Big shout out to Mr. E, the Fixer, and the rest of the crew. Starting off, uh, South Africa's Internet Service Providers Association, or ISPA, has teamed with Australia's Internet Industry Association to develop a new voluntary industry code of practice to improve cybersecurity for end users. Known as the I-Code and developed in conjunction with Australia's Internet Industry Association, the code will provide a consistent approach for South African ISPs to help inform, educate, and protect their customers in relation to cyber security. The increasing threat of zombied computers, computers which have been essentially hijacked and are under control of criminals or other third parties, presents a real risk to users. Identity theft, fraud, and increases in spam are all possible consequences of compromised computer. The, by the following code, ISPs will contribute to the reducing of the number of compromised computers in South Africa and enhance the overall security of the South African and international Internet. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but it sounds like a bunch of bullshit government control to me, so we're going to move on. Next up, Android malware and corporate security. New Android Trojan dub not compatible is being sped through compromised websites. This may directly affect Android tablets and smartphones, along with being a potential risk hazard to the corporate networks and their security. Kevin Mayhafri is a co-founder and CTO of San Francisco-based firm called Lookout Security. The main focus of the company is Android, and during their investigations, it was found that there were uh, was a new malware out called Not Compatible. Again, the Android malware is, according to Maffrey, a risk to corporate networks. According to their report, a hacked website could contain a hidden iframe at the bottom of the page. When the Android browser loads the page, it will attempt to load the file in the hidden iframe. Upon loading the file, the browser would transfer control to the app loader, which would display an application installation screen with the other uh, header uh, com.security update. An unsuspecting user might install the app and thus infect their Android device. Fortunately, the malware isn't very stealthy. Mobile malware threats are not as widespread as those targeting PCs. Criminal hackers are experimenting with different business models for mobile devices such as tricking users into subscribing to pay text message services that criminals control. Next up, social game Zynga uh, Yoville gets hacked. I don't know by why anybody would waste their time with that bullshit, but then again, I don't know why anybody would waste their time playing any of the goddamn Zuckerfucker-created Facebook faggot games. But anyway, moving on, real information. The Hacker Conference biggest hacking mania has arrived. The Hacker Conference 2012 will be held in New Delhi on July 29th. THC 2012 is expected to be the first open gathering of Black Hat hackers in India who will debate latest security issues with the top intelligence echelons in India. The registrations and call for papers for the conference are now open. The organizers have decided to keep the number of seats to limited to ensure quality of the conference conference will be held at the India Habitat Center on July 29th. You can get more information about that at thehackernews.com. And last but not least, the Hulk gets hacked. He needs help from the Avengers. The actor who plays Bruce Banner in the smash hit The Avengers had his account taken over and even changed his username from at MRF221 to Mark Ruffalo and proceeded to add some peculiar posts. Sunday, the scene-stealing actor's Twitter was hacked by a horny nerd. His or her first tweet, The woman of Hollywood sure has some great boobs. Here are the top 15. Marvel's The Avenger uh, took $207.4 million at the North American box office over the weekend, higher than the uh, 200329000 estimated Sunday morning. The film crossed the $600 million mark globally in just 12 days. Another tweet by the hacker, your account was hacked because passwords set very stupid, lol. Rafalo is now using at mark underscore Rafalo and told one follower that Twitter will verify the account on Monday. Well, that's the news for today. We'll see you all again on Friday. Keep hacking, keep whacking. 
Stay safe. Much love.